good morning well coming to my channel well we just left the flying J and this is a big oil and gas refinery up here just uh, you know just on the 216 just past the uh, flying J where you come off the 216 I'm heading south on the 216 now to go do my delivery about 25 kilometers to go <clears throat> now we'll do our delivery yeah so I figured I'd show you guys a little bit on uh, this big uh, oil and gas for 10 kilometers. refinery up here you know although I don't know how much exactly you're going to be able to see but hey at least I figured I'd do something because that's a huge that is a huge factory they must have thousands of people working here yeah now they're doing all kinds of construction up here in this area too but uh it's definitely a clear sign that edmonton is booming very fast oh yeah look at all them <coughs> excuse me look at all them uh tanks they got sitting up here for all the oil and gas I guess holy smokes yeah even way down there I can see more of them too holy yeah it's definitely a big plant up here that's for sure oh yeah no I can even smell the gas yeah yeah they must have a leak somewhere anyways we'll get her down there and we'll do our delivery I have just finished uh, doing a trailer switch here in our uh, terminal here in Edmonton yeah once I was empty there I talked to dispatch and he says uh, bring the empty trailer to our terminal there in Edmonton and we'll have a preloaded trailer there so I went over there and picked up my preloaded trailer picked up my paperwork and that load is going back to Winnipeg yeah so now we are on highway 16 going through Edmonton get a few little tunnels here that we have to go through or overpasses or whatever I guess but this is basically what uh, Edmonton looks like yeah we're just about uh, on the outskirt of uh, Edmonton, I suppose. But, yeah. So we got uh, 1,350 kilometers to go to Winnipeg, to the place where we deliver to. Uh, we should be there tomorrow afternoon, I think. It's uh, 12 o'clock Central Time right now. And it's a beautiful, beautiful four degrees Celsius. That's probably about 40 Fahrenheit, I think. That's, it's anyways, it's above zero. That's all I know. It's above 32, that's for sure. So, once this light changes, we can uh, put the hammer down and pretty much get out of Edmonton. Yeah. That sounds pretty good, that Ford. Anyways, we'll uh, we'll see how the rest of the day will go. Up here in uh, Edmonton, the snow is certainly melting. That's for sure. That's beautiful out here. I I just came from Manitoba there a couple of days ago, and it was bloody cold down there, like minus 32 where I spent the night, but at home in Steinbeck it was like minus 34 Celsius. And now I come over here and it's like four degrees. And uh, it feels so warm that I, you know, I don't even feel like putting a jacket on because it's like four degrees, it's, you know. <laughs> almost 30, uh, 30 uh, degrees Celsius warmer than it was in Manitoba so that is awesome you know then you feel then it feels like spring I'm hoping I can bring this warm weather with me to Manitoba and then we'll have nice spring weather up there too but 
we'll see. We are just coming into uh, Battlefort, Saskatchewan. Yeah, we are already in Saskatchewan. Yeah. I was talking to a friend of mine and uh, he's up there in Manitoba or very close to Manitoba at least he was still in Yorkton uh, Saskatchewan and he was saying that it is pretty windy up there and the, the wind is blowing the snow over the highway and it says it's starting to get icy up there so that's not very good because that's the direction I'm going and he said even as uh, soon as I get across uh, up there by Saskatoon, he says past Saskatoon, it starts getting pretty bad. But we'll see how bad it actually gets. Yeah, well. Well, this is just about as much as you want to see from North uh, Battleford up here. There ain't that much up here. Well, we just filled up up here in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, at the Fly and J. And now we're putting the hammer down towards Winnipeg. Yeah. Turn yeah, left about. on Circle Drive East, Highway 11, and then keep to the left in 1.4 kilometers. We got about 834 kilometers to go and then we'll be in Winnipeg. I'll probably be there tomorrow. I don't know, we'll see how the weather will be, but probably be there by tomorrow 2-3 o'clock in the afternoon. I have made it as far as Farm Lake. And it's not Farm Lake, it's Farm Lake. F-O-A-M Lake. Saskatchewan and I'm tired I just finished putting together one uh, one video and uh, I'm ready to go to bed yeah I'm tired so I hope you guys enjoyed today's videos though so uh, if you did please give me a thumbs up share the video subscribe and we will see you again tomorrow at 5 a.m. Thanks for watching.